Okay, everyone, this is Keish Liker from Gaming Trend, and I'm here with Kira from Colossal Games. We're going to cover some of the games that they had out on Kickstarter and some that are already out or coming out in the not too distant future here. So, uh, Western Legends was a huge success on Kickstarter. I didn't actually get to see it until like it was close to the end of the campaign. So, what's the? I mean, the Western theme is obviously the big draw, but can you explain how the game plays a little bit? Yeah, it's an open world sandbox game, which is just a really cool thing you normally see in a video game. Um, I heard someone once call it Red Dead Cardboard, which I think is a really great <laughs> way. If you've ever played Red Dead Redemption, it has a very similar vibe. Um, you can, there's just so many paths to victory in this game. Um, everything kind of starts from this poker deck. Oh, I know it's Western. We've got poker, but it's not just for poker purposes. Okay, so it's your actual hand as well. You're going to have um, a hand of up to five, um, depending on, you can also, I might also change if you're wounded and stuff, those are all the little things. But some of them will have bonuses, reactions, um, some of them are actual actions. The thing is, is that they are used in multiple places, so not just for poker, they're also used for when you're in a fight, so a tie card wins a fight. Um, they're also used, like I said, as actions. And, uh, and you can, uh, let's see, I want to find one that actually says an action on it so you can see what that looks like. There's one. So determination, action, gain two actions. How about that? <laughs> so because you have three actions per turn. And so really beautiful artwork, by the way. Roland McDonald is amazing and just did an incredible job with this game. Um, as you can see, the board is quite beautiful. And you can choose to play on the side of the law or as an outlaw, or you can choose to kind of ride the middle and do neither. Um, and that you can definitely win in any way. So you can go around, you can go in mine. These are uh, the not quite final dice. They're not painted yet. They'll be black with gold pips, all right? Um, and when you mine, you just roll, and you're going to get some sort of result. So either a re-roll and some money, some money, actual gold nuggets, which you can then take to the bank and cash in, uh, or you're going to get gravel, okay? Um, all the different miniatures, which were done by Pure Arts Limited, incredible company, incredible work here. Um, you can choose who's a bandit, who's your player, who's the sheriff, if you if you like. You don't have to play with who we originally set them up to be. Um, the bandits, if you find yourself in a bandit area, you're going to have to fight them. There's a special deck for the bandits that you're the player to your left will draw from, and they will choose what the bandit is going to play against you. So it's its own special little... Uh, one set of a, a, a card suit. Uh, you can go and wrangle or wrestle cattle, uh, and they all have their own uh, values on the back for when they get turned in as well. And uh, you could go to the general store and buy something. Then now this is the white copy version. The final will be wooden. Um, and here's Travis. Everybody, right, sorry. Travis. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. I'm on a coffee run. What's happening? So we're doing a video talking about our games, and so uh, right now we're just talking about Western Legends. And Travis did an amazing amount of development work with Hervé, the amazing designer behind the game. Uh, and so we just really love this game because there's so many paths to victory. Like I said, uh, the sandbox feel. You can go and throw an epic party, and you can earn legendary points that way. You can go to the saloon and play poker. You can go to the general store and buy some stuff. You can go to the bank and rob it uh, or turn in your gold nuggets. Um, just, just a lot of really fun things that you can do. We also have these story cards would add a little bit extra to the game. And in a two-player game, we have the man in black deck. So he's kind of running around doing his own story. Okay. However, he occasionally will run into you and mess up your day. So um, anyway, so let's go ahead and move on to Eclipse, uh, which is a game we have coming uh, in July. We're working uh, with lots of really on this game. Uh, as their marketing partner. Um, we've got uh, some really cool new stuff. If you're a fan of Eclipse, you'll see that the um, that there's updated artwork, redesigned uh, layouts for the boards. Uh, we've got this new uh, GCDS miniature, which is incredible. The orbitals, which hold the little cube, which I, I, ISA, everybody's excited about. I'm pretty excited about uh, the new ancient ships. We've got these awesome game trays from uh, Game Trays with uh, Game Trays with the Z right, by Noah. Yeah. Uh, this is a prototype, but it is incredible, cool, how it's gonna work with the storage and keeping track of everything. 
Uh, he's making custom games. These are not the game, final game for you. These are just uh, for us to borrow from the original Eclipse, but he's going to be making custom ones that have lids, which will have storage, oh, nice. which is incredible. Does so anybody who set up this game before box. knows it's a bear, but it's so worth it. Um, so great game. Uh, Kamisama down the line here. You also see Omen. Uh, John Cloud is Small Box Games. Amazing, amazing designer. We've got Kamisama by our very own AJ Lambeth. This is a beautiful asymmetrical game where you're uh, in the old, Jap old Japan uh, as playing as a Japanese spirit gaining the favor of the villagers uh, to your paths to victory uh, by placing shrines. Just a really incredible game. Uh, well, just an obviously beautifully designed. We've got it uh, Gong Studios on that. They're also the artists for um, uh, Imperius. And then uh, we've got Combo Fighter here, which is our next game coming up on Kickstarter. I'm a huge fan of this game. This is a co-publish that we're doing with uh, Plot Maker Games out of Copenhagen. Um, just if you've ever played an old school video game, Fighter, Arcade like Fighter, Fighter II, yes, or... Tekken Tag, any of those. We've got all these incredible fighters. Uh, coming to the table, uh, and you're going to be playing blue beats red, red beats yellow. You guys are going to start to get your first hit. Whoever wins the first hit then gets to start comboing. And what that looks like, yes, these lovely, awesome, they have the buttons here, and we're matching uh, button to button. So my first one, I can play any of these buttons. That button's next. I can now play this button, and I'm comboing to get my hit off and taking health away from the other person by uh, impacting their deck of cards, which is just very quick overview. But man, this game, it is quick to play. It's super fun. You can play two, three, four. You can go into tournament mode with it. Um, and each it's character has their own. Each character has deck. their own style. Uh, you see their distribution of cards. So some of them are stronger in, ev in their uh, evasion and blocking. Some of them are stronger in footwork. Some of them are stronger in their hits, uh, but it all plays together in a really nice way, and they all have their very interesting uh, abilities as well. Their power token that, uh, like Grace Lee, until she she has a bow staff, so until she breaks that staff, she's getting extra initiative. She's getting extra damage for all of her red cards. It's, she's super powerful. Um, where is she? Oh, she's one of my favorites. So if she lands a signature combo, you flip this. And if she empties her hand of the five cards, she gets to redraw. So you could potentially have a 10 card combo with her. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, she's incredible. So lots of really, and uh, Snore and Asgard, they're the guys behind London Dread, by the way. Okay. Awesome, awesome oh, game. Know. Awesome folks uh, that designed this wonderful game. And and personal favorite of mine. When is this coming to Kickstarter? This is June 26th. We've got okay. some incredible stretch goals for this one worked out. Uh, new characters, new modes, and arenas. <laughs> Anybody cool. who's played DOA right. knows arenas. Yeah. Yeah. Right up my alley. So cool. that's and then of course Terrors of London by the Pie Brothers. Uh, it's a deck builder, kind of feels Dominion-y, Star Romsey, uh, Victorian London, uh, monsters and stuff. It's so cool. The art is incredible. Um, and they're uh, the Pie Brothers out of South Africa designed and did the art for this game. Wow, it's interesting to see how far the reach of gaming is going globally. Yes. I mean, it used to be basically Europe and the United States, and now it's just expanding all over. Yep. And you're seeing yep. more designers from places other than this. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for showing me all these games, and uh, hopefully we'll see uh, Pumble Fighter soon on Kickstarter. Absolutely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.